I'm adding this corset on. Kind of tie my look all together. This is like my favorite outfit. I've probably worn this in a video before. <laughs> this is like basically the outfit. But, and also the sun is out for a little while. My hair is like <laughs> big frizz ball. But um, I'm just gonna ignore that because I have better things to worry about than my hair right now. But yeah, I'm gonna be on my way now. So let's get to painting plates. I'm so glad you asked because <laughs> the world needs to know. <laughs> mushrooms. All of the mushrooms because Perfect. cottage core. I'm doing flowers on mine. We have got all cottage core. It's Come because on. we're cottage core queen. Carly, oh. what are you doing? I'm painting family plants. Yes. It is a couple of days later since I last filmed i think i'm currently editing and i just remember that i wanted to like talk about a few things but i just kind of realized i have to film a couple of videos ahead of this semester so like literally in these next two weeks those need to be filmed not necessarily edited or anything just i need to actually film them i love doing like anything video related so this is fun but it is kind of just like hitting me anyways i wanted to talk about a book that i'm reading so i'll be right back okay so i am currently reading atlas six i'm not that far into it i've just been like reading a few pages a day because I've also kind of been simultaneously rereading Akatar because I feel like every time I come home I just have to do that but I'm actually really liking this it opened with like an enemies plot line and I was just like that's my kind of trope so very excited to read this and you might see an update on this or you might never ever see this book again I never know sometimes like how much I should record reading books. But yeah, I'm just gonna keep editing. I'm actually exporting right now. They have to do the lovely description box. I hate doing description boxes of YouTube videos. I feel like they're just so like, ugh. They're not my favorite. In case you're wondering, I am currently exporting the how I edit video. So you might have already seen that. Or if you haven't, you can check it out if you want. But yeah. I will see you, I don't know when, to be honest with you. This could pick up in like a few days or a few hours. That's all I wanted to say for now. So I'll see you soon, hopefully. It is a few days later from the pottery thing and I have picked up my pottery and I wanted to show it to you because it's so cute. So this is how it turned out. The colors are definitely a little bit different. Like I thought this was like, like the lighter pink, but I guess not. And yeah, like some of these, like this blue is like way darker, but overall I think it's like, so cute and very whimsical. I really like the handle little vine I did. Turned out really nicely. Did like little curls at the end. I love it. I wish I like took a little bit more time with this. I was just kind of like doing this as one of my last things and I didn't really like do it that well I guess but I think it's still cute. And then the inside which is like my favorite part it says love you. I thought that was kind of cute because you know when you like finish your drink you have a little note at the end. I can like let all my friends use this if they come over and then they'll get this little message at the end. I think that would be so cute. I love mugs. I really want to like collect mugs and stuff so it's definitely part of the collection now. I mean this is just kind of quite the odd angle but it's like the only it's like the only way I can figure out to like get this area lighted to film and it's dark outside. But I wanted to do a little like cozy segment where I talked about all of the books that I read in the last year. I was debating whether to do this as a separate video on its own, but I just thought it would be better to include in a vlog, so it's going in this one. <laughs> I thought I would also take a moment to talk a little bit about my Notion regarding my reading stuff as well. I love Notion. I can do an entire video on this and I probably will at some point, but today I'm just going to be showing you my reading page. So I have a reading list on here. I just like redid it as well and I love how it looks right now. So like just to kind of like go over it very quickly, this is what it looks like when you first go onto it. This is like a little Pinterest picture and 
I just have like a little photo from Unsplash on here. Then I've got a little Cicero quote. I mean, it's not really like personal to me. It's just more of like a generic reading quote, but I kind of hopefully want to like collect a bunch of quotes from different books that I've read and then include them in this like little intro section. I think that would make it like a lot more personal and just a lot more me. Next I have my I might want to read these list. This list is really helpful because it's basically like honestly any book that I've heard of that I've had maybe like a passing thought that I might possibly want to read, I put it in here. And this is not like my final want to read list, I kind of do them by year, but just having this is like good because if I'm like trying to find a new book to read, this is like a good list to look through and kind of like get inspiration or like take some off the list and put them on my actual reading list. And then um, I separate all my books based on the year I've read them in and I categorize them by the year that I finished them in. But I really love this section because Notion has this feature where you can upload an image from the internet. This is really helpful for creating a really visual list and basically the way you do this is you find the book cover online and usually good sources to find them are from like Amazon or Goodreads. They usually have like a really clean good quality image of the cover and then you right click on it and then select copy link address. Don't select any of the other copy ones, but specifically copy link address. And then back on Notion, you can click the plus button and then scroll all the way down to the media section and then click image and then what you can do is select embed link and then just paste that link that you just copied in there and it'll embed the image and then i also like to rearrange them so i always have at least three to five books on each row just so they're not like ginormous and they look more like a collection of books and i love how this has turned out it looks really nice and as a very visual person i like seeing the book covers it's like a little digital library almost. I usually will make a list during the year and kind of upload the images already and then kind of drag them from the list into my completed list. It's very fun to do that, <laughs> like dragging these little images around. But yeah, without further ado, let's just like start talking about all the books I've read. I'm not going to be super thorough in this again because it's just like a segment of this vlog, but in the future if you'd like me to talk more about like what I'm reading, I would love to do that. Just let me know in the comments below. We're back in the physical world because I I do have my bookshelf right here. So the first two books I read were the Six of Crows duology by Leigh Bardugo. I actually read the majority of this in 2021, but I like finished this like in the new year. To be honest with you, I'm not like a huge fan of the series. I know like so many people love and rave about the series, but it didn't really do it for me. I really only liked Kaz and Inej's stories. Like I really didn't care about the other characters as much. Like I, I like Jesper, but I don't really like reading from his point of view. I have this like thing where I don't really like like multiple point of view stories. Unfortunately, so many of the books I read this year do involve multiple persons perspectives, but it's just like not my favorite style of book. I usually just like connecting with the main character and like staying with the main character. But yeah, it was definitely like interesting to read, just I wouldn't say it's like some of my top books of this year and I didn't like it as much as it had been hyped up on book talk specifically. Also just a quick note, a lot of the books I'm talking about are recommendations from TikTok. I feel like I shouldn't have to like justify my reason for it like there's no like shame in it just you know this is very tiktok heavy <laughs> okay the second series i read a lot of series this year which was interesting this is the cruel prince series this series started something in me and definitely set the tone for the rest of my year of reading. I had previously like never read any like high fantasy before, I guess. I don't really know what falls into the category of fantasy exactly, but I definitely had not like gone into like this area of fantasy, which I think is referred to as high fantasy, you know, like magical worlds full of like fae creatures. This started an, an obsession definitely and um i i loved this series i really enjoyed it and even just as a series like in relation to the rest of the fantasy series that i've read this year i really liked how holly black took like a very dark perspective on the fae i think in the books that i'm about to talk about the fae are seen as like very angelic and like they have the same sense of good and bad as humans 
and this was definitely like not that. The characters here can get pretty wicked and <laughs> cruel which I think was something very interesting to see and I really liked how all of these books played out. I've reread these too like quite a few times already. They're just so good. They're really easy to get through as well. It's not like a huge series in terms of fantasy <laughs> series. Like fantasy series can be pretty long but this is very short I feel like. The next book I had read last year was Verity by Colleen Hoover. A very popular book talk class. I think I've decided I don't really like Colleen Hoover's books. So this is actually the second Colleen Hoover book I read. I had read It Ends With Us the year prior and I didn't really like it. I didn't really like the characters and just the writing. I found like parts of it hard to get through in the sense that I like kind of found it cringy. This one I actually enjoyed a little bit more. I really liked the like thriller aspect of it and also like the way it ends. It's more like up to your interpretation of like how you think everything happened and like what the truth is. So I thought that was interesting. Also like the way it was like structured through a manuscript and like there it would cut to like real time and then also the stuff that was in the manuscript and that was interesting. I know there's like a lot of heated debate <laughs> online about Colleen Hoover but yeah I just I don't really have the urge to read another Colleen Hoover book and I feel like even if I did like this would be the best one out of them all. I'm sorry if you really like Colleen Hoover's books I just I don't <laughs> I don't really like them. Next up, I read The Night Circus. This one I loved reading. This is by Erin Morgenstern. I love media that kind of surrounds carnivals and like circuses and that too more like vintage circuses. I think it just feels very like magical and it, I, I just love like the energy and like the atmosphere I guess, like the setting. I really like this one. I wouldn't say it's like my top favorite. I didn't get through it like super quickly but it was definitely like really well written and I loved the two main characters and I loved the dynamic between them. They were basically like rivals and I love that trope. Like it's one of my favorites. <laughs> really enjoyed this as well. Kind of felt like it was like fever dreamy at points so it was definitely interesting but this gave me like similar feelings as The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue which I really liked that book. So now we're about a fourth of the way into this year and the rest of this year was completely taken over by Sarah J Maas books and it starts with Akatar. I had gotten this from like this book event that my dorm was doing and then if you've read the series you know that you start falling in love with this book and the characters in them and then you realize that the rest of the series kind of completely goes against everything from this book. So when I actually read this for the first time, I waited for a while before like reading the rest of this series. I just kind of thought I wouldn't like it, <laughs> which is kind of funny to like think about because I just like, I knew like the stuff in this book was about to be turned upside down and I wasn't ready to accept that. What I didn't know was that I would fly through the next three books because obviously they're so much better. This one is like by far my favorite book that I've read all year. I have like reread this minimum of 10 times. I just, I love Ryzand. The characters in the Night Court actually opened my mind up to a lot of things and like concepts that I found really interesting. Like I loved the dynamics between everyone in the court. A Court of Frost and Starlight was an interesting read. I pretend that doesn't really exist because while I really like Ryzand, I absolutely did not need to see his perspective. It just like, <laughs> it was just not, not the greatest. Okay, so after reading Akatar, I moved on to the Crescent City series. This is Sarah J Moss's like, adult series, like her first technically adult series, I think. As you can see, these are massive books. These are Bible sized. I really like this series as well. I will say, while I was interested in like the futuristic perspective, like the futuristic setting, I wasn't like the biggest fan of the fact that they had like phones and stuff. I don't know why, it just like kind of took me out of the story. Like I really liked Akatar and even like the Fae in this series, like set in like different like time periods essentially. The things they wore and stuff, I always like imagined it to be very like Victorian or like not modern day. I hated Athelar's backwards hat. It just didn't fit like the character description. Like I understand them having that like look as humans, but them also being like magical creatures, it just, it wasn't doing it for me. But again, the series 
means a lot to me because I read it during like a really nice time. I actually took this to the beach, <laughs> which is kind of funny because it's like massive and definitely not like a beachy read. And also like the ending of this book, are you kidding me? I'm so excited to see what happens next. And yeah, that's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> Okay, so finally, the series that kind of took over the rest of my year. This is the Throne of Glass series by Sarah J Maas. I honestly can probably say that it's like my favorite series overall from her. Obviously, this was like my favorite book, but as a series overall, I think this was so amazing. I loved the main character in this series. I think all of the women in this series were way stronger than the Akatar series. I really like that a lot about this. And then also I don't think there's like a single book in here that I didn't like. There's like all the different eras of it. We've got like the original trio and then you see like a lot of the more magical people and it's just amazing. And yeah so those are all the books that I read in the past year. That's pretty much it for this segment. Okay I'm gonna end my vlog here just because I'm starting a new vlog which is going to be very exciting so definitely stay tuned for that if you like all things travel related packing related moving related that's basically what the next vlog is going to be so yeah i really hope you enjoyed thank you so much for watching if you liked this video please definitely let me know in the comments or you can like this video or interact with it in any other sort of way so just sharing it i'd really appreciate it and yeah with that being said i will see you very very soon <laughs>